Hello and welcome back. This is Steve at Bucks Coins and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do a world coin hunt. What this means is that I've put my hand into a big box of foreign coins and I've drawn out 20 or 25 and put them into one of these plastic bags. I've emptied them, I've done a little bit of research on them to help make your enjoyment a little bit better. And this is the first coin. And you can't even see it. It is a one cent coin. It's from the East Caribbean states. Which is across the top here. And it's one cent. It's a scalloped edge coin. On that side you've got the value and some palm thongs and then on the reverse we have a Majesty of the Queen. It's from the year 2000 but it doesn't have any mintage figures unfortunately. So that first one can go back in the bag. Second coin. It's from Chile. And the portrait on this, on the obverse of this coin, is a Mr. B. O'Higgins. Sounds like an Irish name, doesn't it? Well, apparently, he was a Chilean soldier. This coin is a 50 peso, 50 peso coin, dated from 2010. On the reverse. It's not may not be very clear, but it's 50 pesos, and you have a garland with the year of 2010. Second one back in the bag. The coin. It's an aluminium coin. It doesn't sound metallic at all, does it? It doesn't feel metallic. It feels plasticky type thing. Well, it's a coin. It's a valid coin from Indonesia. In, on the front there you have the eagle of Indonesia, the bird of prey. You have Indonesia across the top. And the obverse is of a person called T.B. Simatupang. T.B. Simatupang. On the back is the value and it has the Bank of Indonesia. It also has the year of 2010. Aluminium coin. I'm not sure what this is that's on the coin. This be uh, some sort of... It's not a rust as such. It just seems to be not quite the way that you would like it. Here we go, 100 lira on the front, as always with this age of coin we have a portrait of a lady, it's unknown who the lady is supposed to be, I, I've never seen that described or shown in the description of this coin. This coin is 100 lira, it shows a lady at an olive tree and the lady is the goddess Minerva. There are no mintage for this particular coin. It was a very highly minted coin though. The year of release of that coin was 1974. Here is the next coin. It shows Ataturk, who was a famous soldier and politician from Turkey. This is a one lira. Turkey from, 19, from 2005. On the back you have the Turkish symbol of the crescent moon and star, the number one and also the date at the bottom there which is 2005. There are no mintage figures available for this coin. This next coin again is a portrait of a lady it's from Italy. 
it is a 200 lira coin and it's within a cog design it's from 1978 which is down on the bottom underneath the, the end of the cog or the edge of the cog there is no mintage figures for this coin again it's a highly minted coin Here's a coin from a country that I have little or no coins from. This may well be the first one. It's from Azerbaijan from 2006. We have a map here of Azerbaijan and the value of 10 OPIC. The coins on the edge, now I don't know whether you're going to be able to pick this up on the edge, but the edge is, it's indented in several places all the way around the coin as a security um, as a security feature. There's a value of 10 OPIC and that's a bird cage with a bird possibly in the cage. It is a bird cage and the It looks as if it's a almost like a fan design in the background behind the birdcage, but I'm not com I'm not 100% sure of that. There are no mintage figures for this coin. We come back into mainland Europe and back to our friends at the Turk. This is a coin from Turkey from the year 2005 and it's 25 kunas. You have there the symbol of the crescent moon and, and star. You have the value and the uh, curious K-U-R-U-S and the date of 2005 on the rear of the coin. So they've got the curious and then right at the bottom there is 2005. Again there is no mintage figures for this coin. The next one go up the right way. Oops. This is Cuba. You have the national symbol of Cuba, the coat of arms. And there you have the country name and also the year. And the year is 2008. And on the back, let's get this right way up for you, you have the 25 cent. And you have a monastery building. I did have it written down what the monastery was, but I can't find it now, so you have to excuse me. I will try and find out for you at some time in the near future and if I do find out before this film is um, viewed I'll put it in a description uh, in a little box underneath this area. The next coin, a fairly weirdly shaped coin, it's a circular coin But it looks as if it's got like a 50p shape indented into it. The portrait on the front is of King Juan Carlos. It's quite a heavy and chunky coin. And its value is 200 pesetas. The year, as I said, is 1986 which is on the front. Let's get this right way up. Is that the right way up? Yes it is. You've got one Carlos's name, one Carlos the first name there, and then you've got the date at the bottom of 1986. Unusual coin. I'd not seen one like this. It looks like a 50p has been pressed into the circular coin. So you've got the 
the seven sides there. Unusual. Makes the coin stand out if nothing else. Right. The next coin is from Bahrain. There we have the coconut or the palm tree. You also have the year at the bottom in Arabic. This coin was 1965 and you have the value over here which is 100 fills and you have the country of Bahrain. There are no mintage figures for this coin. I would imagine that it's quite heavily minted. There we have, this is a Jordanian coin and this, the head here, or the portrait here, is of uh, King Hussein. It's dated between 1978 and 1991 and it is 50 fills. On the back, or on the reverse of the coin, we have the value and we have the branches like uh, a thong uh, uh, either olive or olive type branches going around the outside. It has the country and also the value. Again, there's no mintage for this coin. This rather tatty coin is from India. The centre part here is the three Shuki lions of India. It does have India written on the side here, on this side, maybe not too clear. And on the back we have five rupees and a date of 2010. And it's inside a some type of floral this uh, floral uh, uh, vine type thing, and it has five rupees. It's very badly worn, even though the uh, the year was 2010. It's very mucky coin. Not very easy to read, and it has. Uh, no mintage figures available, although the Indian coins tend to be very highly minted. This one, next one, is a silver Indian coin. You have the Suki lines again, and you have India there on the on the obverse, and then on the reverse. You have one rupee. And you have the value of the one rupee, and you have two ears of wheat, possibly, or maybe rice, I don't know. I think it's more likely to be wheat by the looks of those. Or, yeah, and it has a date of 1996. Yeah, it's got wheat ears, there's no mintage for it. Here we go, Greek. It's Arist is it Aristotle on the front here, as I believe. I believe that's Aristotle. On the back, it's a ten drachma. It has the value, the year, and this design is, of course, the atom design. Again. A heavily minted coin. There are no minted figures available. The next one is a 2010 coin from India and again it's not what I would call proper metal. It's not full aluminium. It may be an alloy of aluminium and something else but you have the Shuki lines in the central in the centre part of the coin you have the year there which is 2010 and at the top you have India in Cyrillic and India in Western uh, writing. 
You have the value of one rupee, and because not everybody can read in India, they have hand signs and sign language, and one is an upturned thumb. So that's the sign language one rupee uh, to mean number one. So that's a one rupee coin. Next coin is a Diddy coin. It's a one euro. One euro is minted by many countries. Let's get this right way up. There we go. That's the right way up. It's from Espana or Spain, and it shows a church and church or church monastery. Uh, sorry, cathedral. And Spain had, at this time, on their one euro and two euro, uh, one cent and two cent bits, they put on World Heritage uh, sites. And this cathedral is a World Heritage site. The next two, I'll bring both of them in at once. A Canadian one cents. One is from 1979 and the other one is from 1999. They both have the maple leaf and one quick way of telling them apart is the portrait of the Queen which is entirely different. That's the earlier one and that's the one from 1999. There are no mintage figures for either of those two one cent bits that I could find. Okay, the next coin we go to one that we should say next to. I'll put it up here on the black. Can we see it? Can you see it there? Or do I need to be there? Yeah, maybe there. That is a five. That is a French centime coin. And it's uh, it is a five centime from. Whoops! There we go. Get the right way up. A five centime from 1988. It has value there with some vine with uh, some. What can I say? It's like a wheat sheaf, um, a branch of some description in the foliage. It is from 1988, very highly minted coin, and as Christopher would say, next. And the next we have, let me just bring that across. Whoa. Oops. Excuse me. There we go, a five centime coin. It's sorry, it's a ten barney coin from Romania. The obverse side, which is this side, is we have the eagle, and we have the name of Romania, and we have the year of 2014. On the reverse, we have ten barney. Very highly minted coin, and one we see an awful lot of. Next one. Does anybody know that one? This is the Parliamentary House, the Parliament House from Malaysia. On the front it has, a, on the obverse it here it has the Parliament buildings and then on the reverse we have the value which is 10 sen. We have the year which is 1967 and we have the country Malaysia no mintage available for that coin or oh, I don't have a mintage for that coin whoops next one ah yes there we go Italy 
aluminium coin, horrible things. I honestly thought when I first saw this design, as I've said before in the past, that it was actually a plough, an old fashioned type plough, but it's not. It's actually a rudder. And on this rudder we've got the name, we've got the fact that it's Italian and the date which is 1952. On the reverse we have the value with some wheat ears and the value is 10 liras. Last two coins of this hunt. First one is Julian, Netherlands. It's a 25 cent from 1951. On the front is Julian, and on the back is the crown, the value, and the year. And the last coin of this hunt is a Diddy one. And it says ten or spurge. So you got the ten or and then spurge underneath. Or well, spurge is Sweden. Ten or on the back here you have the year, which is nineteen on this side and seventy three here. You have the crown of Sweden and you have the monogram of Gustav the sixteenth. Again, another highly minted coin. So, there's the bag of coins that I've just gone through. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please give me the thumbs up, smash the thumbs up button. It doesn't take you any period of time at all and it helps my channel out tremendously. If you're a returner to the channel and you've not yet subscribed, could you please do so? If you want to, of course. And if you're brand new, I'd love to have you along through my coiny through my journey through coins and banknotes, tokens, medals, all that sort of good stuff. That ends this coin hunt and all I'm, can, all I'm left to say is if you're having a hunt of your own I hope you have a successful one and you find the coins you're looking for. If you are buying coins I hope you can get them for the amount you want to pay. And in the meantime until we meet up again on this channel, ta-da for now, bye bye.